What's up guys? Alright, we're back with part two of the Hacker Reacts videos. Um, you guys know what it is already. We're just going to go through and we're going to explain how Hollywood makes hacking look easy and kind of explain what we think about it and uh, how realistic it is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. Now, I will tell you, uh, I'm going to skip this Fast and Furious scene because I don't remember where we left off on the old last video. So let's go ahead and get past it. Okay, actually, I'll talk about this for a sec. So, <clears throat> so that car situation right there is possible, okay? There are people that have hacked cars in the sense that they can make them do certain things. I have not seen one, a credible one, a good one, that can steer the car and things like that. I don't know. Um, I don't follow that type of hacking that often, but I do know um, Jeep was a big one that got hacked. Um and the guy could stop the car and things like that from his computer at home but I have not seen <clears throat> excuse me someone that can just drive it like that so it is theoretically possible with Tesla's and things becoming more prominent it's probably more realistic now alright I didn't know this vid this scene was half the video here let's try and get past it see this is just all the same same thing just a it's all the same thing. It's just a uh, them hacking a car. Okay, here we go. Social network. I have not seen this. Okay, we're going to have to slow it down a little bit. That first scene the other day was really slow, so... Okay, so <clears throat> one thing I'm going to say is they've got some of the terminology right. He's talking a little bit fast so because I have it turned on faster but he looks like he's creating something here um, changing directories into face mash and photos and then he's gonna w get so he's gonna try and get them from a website Magic is all that's necessary to download. he is downloading recursive directory it looked like with uh, so <clears throat> it looks like this is so far fairly accurate I'm not sure what he's trying to do let's go back to that let's read that Download the Okay, so like I said, it's a recur. He tried to down or he's w getting a recursive directory. So he actually, this is accurate. He's actually downloading um, the entire directory, which is what he's saying he's doing. Okay, so first up is Kirkland. They keep everything open and allow indexes in their Apache configuration. Okay, so what he's saying is they have everything open. There's no security realistically, um, and they allow you to actually change their configuration on their Apache server, which is their web server. So a little wget magic is all that's necessary to download the entire Kirkland Facebook. So that's that's realistic. Um, that's that's a pretty common misconfiguration is that someone leaves a website to the point where you can just download whatever you want or. Um, misconfiguration is basically a very big vulnerability, but it's it's common. It's Whoever administrated this site, especially back then, because I think this is about this um, this movie is about uh, Facebook, if I remember correctly. So back then, it had been something totally easy, something someone very commonly would do. So let's see what we're getting at here. Alright, so, so far, that's it. Not sure what his goal was with the face mash thing. Um, I think he just wanted to get... Okay, so I'm trying to follow what he said, but basically there was no index on Apache, which basically just means they're, what he's saying is, from my understanding from what he just said, is basically that they hit it, but it, you can still access it. That's what it sounded like to me. Okay, so what he did here is basically they hid the files in a sense. He saves the page, which then also saves the uh, photos that are embedded in that page to be displayed and things like that. So realistically, there's they just hit them. It was more of a, you know, technique back in the day. It's not really something... People still use it nowadays, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to hide something where you can't see it. It's kind of like having a hidden file on Windows or on Linux. You can still find it very easily, so hiding it doesn't actually do anything except for people on the uneducated in cyber or people on the back end that just regular users don't see it but anyone with IT experience would find that 
Okay, next is Elliot. They're also open. Okay, so he's just reading to us. What did he say? I'm not really sure what they're trying to accomplish. It seems like they're trying to get everyone's pictures right now. This isn't necessarily really hacking. This is more of a forensics type. Um, I mean, it is hacking, don't get me wrong, but he didn't actually have to hack into anything. So far, this has just been a forensics. Okay, so... I'm, I was trying to listen to it. So basically, he said they required a... Um, they required an actual username and password. It sounded like he didn't say it, but the way he was talking, it kind of sounded like he just brute forced it, and they had no way of detecting that. Um, so basically, he just got in, or some sort of SQL injection or something. He just said an intrusion. They had no way of detecting an intrusion. So however he got in, he broke the security. That's realistic, um, especially... If your password's easy, they could brute force it pretty quickly. Um, if your password's not easy, if it's actually difficult, um, back in the day, I would assume he probably did some sort of SQL injection. That's pretty common back then. You could do it to a lot of sites, so that's where I'm thinking he went. But again, this is fast. It's not telling us everything. Has no security, but limits the number of results to twenty a page. All I need to do is break out the same script I used on Lowell and reset. Okay, so I get what he did there. So basically. That that site there, he's saying they don't have any security, but they only allow you to get 20 images at a time. So he created a simple script that says, give me 20 images, give me the next 20, give me the next 20, blah, blah, blah. And it just runs, and he gets all the images anyway. <clears throat> so again, no actual security there. So, so far, he, he's he been flying through it. I will say the SQL injection could be quick back, in, back then when this was taking place, but the um, brute force would have taken some time, so you wouldn't see it going like as fast as he's doing it. But again, if he already knows like some information about the people, he could know the admin password. It could be default. Um, there's a million things that could have got him in there very quickly. Facebook, what a sham. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, he said some other one didn't have a Facebook. Is there no public directory? But there's no directory at all. You have two searches. If your search returns more than 20 matches, nothing gets returned. Then one... Okay, so if your search... Once you do get results, they don't link directly to the images. They link to a PHP that redirects or something. Weird. This may be difficult. I'll come back later. Hey, Sharpie son. What? Okay, so he said it's, it might be difficult. He'll come back later, which is very common. You go for the low-hanging fruit first. You're going to grab stuff, make a note of something, and then you can dig in later. That's pretty realistic. Okay, so he's saying here they make you do a search to get people's faces, you know, but you can do an empty search, and it'll give you everything. Again, fairly common. Good. I mean, realistic, it's not, there's no reason why, it's kind of like when you go to a website and you're searching for, you know, like let's go, say you go to Best Buy or something, it's a website, and you're searching for a computer, and you type in computer at the top, if you take everything out and search, typically you're just going to get all results. It's slightly obnoxious that they only let you view one picture at a time, and there's no way I'm going to go 500 pages to download pics one at a time, so it's definitely necessary to break out Emacs and modify that Perl script. Okay, so again, all he's doing is scripting the process, he's creating a script that simply downloads that photo and does it for him automatically rather than sitting there and going to each page clicking boom 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 so very real realistic um, I'm gonna skip past this because it seems like all that he's doing is trying to get pictures that's not really um, I don't know what he's trying to do with them but that seems like the common theme here so he just keeps doing the picture thing okay here's a whole movie called hackers I've never seen this movie I want a cookie give me Replicating, eating up memory. Uh, what do I do? Type cookie, you idiot. I'll head him off at the pass. We have a zero bug attacking all login and all the way files. Run antivirus. Give me a systems display. Okay, so this is obviously not realistic. Um, <laughs> it's kind of it's comical. I'll give him that. Um, number one, I think he said they had a zero day attack coming. That means that they don't know how to prevent it, so running an antivirus won't help you in that situation because the antivirus has never seen it. Now, there are some um, some ways to detect it, I guess, if you will. There's uh, learning-based and uh, things like that, but there's um, pattern-based intrusion detection and, and things like that, but realistically, this isn't how this would work. You're not going to be getting hacked and going, okay, pull it up, pull up display, boom, 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 okay, we know what we're doing, let's go. Like, it's just not the way it works, but we'll continue. You're also, you saw that, I'm assuming that other kid was the hacker. He's not just going to, you know, go, run, run hack. That's called script kitty. It's not really hacking, and 
it's going to get caught pretty quickly. So. I can't hear what they're saying, so I'm just going to keep going. Die, dickweeds. So, I don't know if you saw that. Let's go back to that. So he's not even pushing anything. I, again, I haven't seen this movie, so I don't know if this is a keyboard that's some supposed to be funny or. But it, it, he's just pushing an empty button. There's nothing there, and you can see realistically, it's not even a button. It's just a display. But I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. He's just pushing a button. It's not really how it works. Uh, yeah, I I don't really know what's going on here. They they've just they're just pushing buttons and saying terminology and hoping people will catch on. Uh, there's rabbits growing across the screen, random displays. I don't really know what the goal is. I haven't seen the back end, what's going on. But so far, it just seems like a bunch of, I wouldn't even say good Hollywood displaying, just kind of trying to make it purposefully funny. A rabbit is in the administration system. Send a flu shot. Rabbit, flu shot, someone talk to me. Okay, so yeah, this must be some sort of comment comedy or something because he said the rabbits in the something and she he said send a flu shot like they're just throwing out terms and being funny and pushing stuff you can see they don't even have keyboards in front of them they're just pushing buttons and... till it overloads a file then it spreads like cancer cancer yeah this is a some sort of comedy so we'll we'll skip past it they're they're trying to be funny i get it i mean it but even even i think a normal person would watch this and and be like, that's not hacking. Alright, so sneakers. Okay, that's in, either encrypted or... In, see. Is he blind? I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so this is something um, realistic, but not realistic. Let me, let me go back a little bit on this one, I'll, and then I'll explain it. Because I want to see what's going on here. Encrypted. Okay, so he said it's encrypted, which we see that's an encryption right there. Okay, so he said, Robbie, that last contact. So what it seems like they're doing is he's going through um, and basically making contact with these and trying them. It's basically kind of like a manual decryption. Um, I don't know what's on his face. I don't know if he's if he's blind or if he's got some sort of display but you can see this is a simple decryption this is realistic um, you're not gonna do it manually like that anymore you're obviously going to literally just run it through something that um, whatever tool you like or whatever you know even th this back then is probably super easy to decrypt and it's probably can be ran through like cyber chef or something Okay, so he's actually decrypting it in transit almost, I would say, because he's he has to be because this is a display that he's allowed to now interact with. So that's a little different. Shut down the Federal Reserve. Hmm. Hey, he's hey, in the Federal wrong, Reserve. Carl, what else you got? The National Power Grid. <laughs> so I'm not sure why they're going for all this stuff. They went for the Federal Reserve, now the Power Grid. And they're just decrypting stuff, which... So, here I'm just not really sure what their goal is. People don't just uh, hack into like the national power grid just for the hell of it. The reason for that is because you're probably going to get caught. Anybody want to black out New England? <laughs> Typically, you're going to have... Air have controls. tested a lot of things before you actually pursue an attack. So, one thing, whoops, did not mean to click that. The average person checks their smartphone. One thing I've I've noticed with this is that the one thing they show a lot is they show a lot of um basically off the cuff hacking. And it's not typically done in that fashion. It's typically more planned out than this. It's typically um more or less, you know what your goal is. You've already done some research on the companies or the organization. You, there's a lot more to it than this, as far as back end. Janik must have figured out a way to solve those problems without the key, and he hardwired it into that chip. Okay, so, so what they have, apparently they must have a physical chip that has the keys in it. 
all that is that's um, basically just a shared key realistically so for encryption purposes all it is is these federal you know um, entities all have some sort of key that if you kind of like a password but it's hard hard chipped there on the actual um, firmware so basically what it sounds like they're doing is someone either created this thing or the government did and they put all of the keys for all these federal agencies onto this chip that the now they now have and when you try the keys on different ones you get access so this would be a very dangerous thing um federal entities don't do this they don't share keys like the CIA is not like i mean they share keys with each other but they don't have one thing that can access every freaking machine in the federal government and the reason for that is for this reason right here you can see it so this is older war games okay i used to, i've watched war games back in the day i really liked war games when i was a kid but i haven't seen it in a long time so weeks but i know where they write it down wait a minute hold on let me see what what he just said there they change the password every couple of weeks, but I know where they write it down. Okay, so he's not even—he didn't even need to hack. He just watched them write the password down and logged in. Are those your grades? Yeah. I don't think. Okay, so this is definitely a realistic attack. This happens quite a bit. Um, if you've ever heard the terminology, uh, the more secure a password, the less secure it is. It's kind of a play but play on words but realistically what it is is if you get passwords that are so long and secure that you can't remember them you write them down and as soon as you write it down it becomes less secure so that's what's happening here is they change the password every so often but they write it down somewhere that this kid has access to and he can just log in that I deserved it do you he then searched himself and changed his grade can't do that already done all right. What are you doing? I'm changing your biology grade. No, so he's just changing grades in a school database. Brother. All right. So that's it. So, what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. If you think some are more realistic than others, feel free to let me know. I would say War Games there at the end was probably the most realistic one we're gonna see, and that's because that's the most common type of attack, which is. Someone that knows a little bit about cyber gets themselves into some trouble based on they found someone's password, they know someone's password, something, and then they log into like a back-end website or something, like an admin page, and they don't really know what they're messing with, and next thing you know, it's getting tracked to them. So tell me what you guys think. If you guys liked it, awesome. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see me react to more of these. If you have a video that you want to react, comment below and let me know. Um... Yeah, let's just keep this series going. Let's just keep reacting to... Some of them are hilarious, but some of them are, are fairly realistic. So let's try and see if we can find something that's very realistic. Uh, I know Mr. Robot's one that people tell me to react to. I'll probably do that at some point, but I haven't seen the show. So thanks, guys.